Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday. I want to talk to you guys about the four decluttering no-nos. Let's get started. I know a lot of folks out there are trying to minimize and declutter and get more organized around their home so they have more space, they can find things, and just feel more free. I think it's fantastic. But there are some things I think that are good to do along the way. Let me get started. Number one, and I've made this mistake, if you are married or you're living with other folks, not asking them if it's okay to declutter their stuff. I've done that before where I keep a decluttering bin and I put my husband's stuff in there and he's going over there going, um, excuse me, I wanted that belt or something even though I thought he hasn't worn it in a while. So it's good to talk to them about what you're going to declutter. As a matter of fact, my husband has some newspapers and I was going to take out this great big pile. Well, I didn't know that there were some important notebooks and things in between these because they had collected and some stuff got kind of stuck underneath there. He needed to go through there and pick out some of those notebooks. So, talk to your family first and don't just automatically declutter their stuff. That's number one. Number two, this is a biggie, throwing away important paperwork. I had a friend of mine that needed some paperwork for tax purposes and ended up throwing it out and it was a big fiasco. I know when we declutter, a lot of people just want to just get in there and do it. You want to just rent a bulldozer and just come through and, and do it quickly. There's no race. You don't have to do this fast. We can do baby steps, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. Take your time. Number three, and this is big, and I've heard about people that have done this. If you're going to declutter some clothes or get rid of some, and I have to, had to do this with some of my husband's things, check the pockets of everything. I have found money. I have found receipts. You could have something important, even jewelry, for example, something that may be a key. Anything could be in those pockets. So check them first before you donate. And that kind of actually goes, I said number three, it actually kind of goes with number two, kind of all together. Just really look through things and check before you get rid of stuff. Number three, getting you're not sure if you want to get rid of something. You're kind of going, maybe, yes, no, yes, no. And, you know, you have some reasons you want to keep whatever it is. We'll say it's a sewing kit. And then you have, a, and you're like, oh, I really am, I really do want to sew. And this is my mother's sewing kit. I don't want to get rid of it. And then the other side of you says, but I don't know when I'll ever have time to sew and I don't even sew. And you're kind of going back and forth. To me, if you're not quite sure, don't get rid of it yet and maybe put it in a quote, maybe pile and revisit it later. If you're not sure, I personally would not get rid of something because you may have to go purchase it later or you may get rid of something that means a lot to you and has a lot of memories and you're just not ready to part with it yet. Number four, and this is the biggest one of all, comparing ourselves with others. There's so many other fabulous YouTubers out there that are minimalists, that have lovely homes and fantastic tips. That's great. And so many of them have been so encouraging and said, you know what? We don't have to compare ourselves to others. We're each different. And like I said, we don't have to hurry and do this. We can do it slowly because every little bit of clutter that we thoughtfully find a home for, whether it's donating or something else or selling, it makes your home nicer and more organized. But we don't have to rush and do it because rushing could cause us to get rid of some important things. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you have any other decluttering no-nos of tips not to do? I want to hear about it in the comments below. Tomorrow's budgeting day and I'll have a really interesting video for you. Thank you everybody for watching. I love your comments. I love your support and I love your candor. Thank you. Bye.